What's up guys, I'm going to do pointer scanning in this video. A lot of people have been asking for it, so I'm going to do it. Uh, this is for beginners. If you don't know how to do pointer scanning, I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to use a soul cube, but you can use whatever game you want, as long as you can use cheat engine with it. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is attach cheat engine to a salt cube. And then I'm going to, uh, for this video, I'm going to use my health. So I'm scanning for 100 right here. And then I'm going to damage myself and scan for the new value, which is 66. And there we go, two addresses. Uh, it's probably the top one, just from my experience. So I've, uh, so I've toggled this um, active option here, which means it's just constantly writing the value to 66. So, uh, so if my health doesn't actually change, if it stays at 66 when I run over this health pack. That means that's the right address because it's actually affecting my health value. And it is. You saw it went to 100 and then it went straight back to 66. So this is the right uh, value that we want. Uh, so I'm going to say find out what access is this address. It's going to attach a debugger and I'm going to click on this stuff here. You can see these arrows are showing the instruction that's accessing it and it's EBX plus F8. So from looking at this, I can see that the offset we want to look for is FA, so that's going to be the health offset. So I'm guessing EBX here is the local player, and it's doing plus F8. I'm going to check this one too, and it's the same thing. So ESI would have the local player, and then plus F8 is our health. That's our health offset. And you can also see the value of ESI here. So I'm guessing right now the local player is E8A328. That's the address. So um, yeah, so we found the offset here, and that's going to be useful for us because it's going to help us narrow down our pointer scanning. So what we want to do now is generate a pointer map for this uh, address here. And I'm going to say uh, pointer map one. Okay. Now that we've generated it, I'm going to pointer scan. I'm going to say used save, <laughs> use saved pointer map. And I'm going to click pointer map one. And you want to click pointers must end with specific offsets and we want to put F8 because that's what we saw in the offsets there. And that's going to help us narrow down the uh, pointers we find. So we're going to do our first pointer scan here and I'm going to just call it uh, pointer scan one. And it's got a bunch of pointers here, 3000 pointers. Um, so that's great, but that's too many for us and uh, we want to make sure that the pointers are still valid after we restart the game. So what we're going to do now is exactly that. We're going to restart the game, find the health address again, and then do another pointer scan, compare it with these pointers, and see which ones are still valid. So let's do that. Alrighty, so I've restarted the game, and I'm going to reattach Cheat Engine. I'm going to keep the address list here, and I'm actually going to name this. Uh, I'm going to delete that one because that wasn't the one we needed. This is the one we needed. I'm going to change the name here to health1, so we know that was the first address because we're going to need that. And then uh, we're going to scan again for the health. So do a new scan, 100, throw a grenade again, almost killed myself, uh, 26, there we go. I already know it's going to be the top one. Uh, if you want to really validate, you can do the same technique where we click active there, run over health pack, it's the right one. So now we generate pointer map. I'm going to just click this and change it to a two. We made the pointer map and then pointer scan. Uh, use save pointer map. We're going to use the second one there. And now we're going to want to click compare results with other saved pointer maps. And we're going to click the first one we made. And then click the first health address that we had. So it was the E8A whatever. That's the one that we had before. So. That's why you want to save it uh, in the cheat engine list. And you want to run this pointer scan. Click this, I'm going to say two, because this is going to be our second pointer scan. And it should find 941. So that's actually not bad because <clears throat> it's showing a lot of pointers from the thread stack, which we don't care about. We care about the ones from the actual EXE. So I'm just going to do a little scrolling and um, I'm going to look for a pointer that is uh, just one level. I want it to just be AC plus whatever and then F8. I want F8 to be right here. 
So I'm going to do a little bit of scrolling and we see him right here. There's three in a row. Uh, we can just use the first one here, I'm guessing. And that's going to be a pointer you can use for your game hack. Uh, every time you restart the game, this is going to point to the health address and you can actually write to it. And if I set it to 100, you see it changes the health there. So that's how you can easily get a pointer uh, to whatever address you want, health address, ammo, anything. So AC client plus this address here is the local player and then F8 is the health offset. So that's how you find pointers, that's how you pointer scan, and that's how you find offsets. I hope you guys find this useful. Uh, if you want more beginner tutorials, let me know. Give me ideas on what you want down below. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.